Hello, today we are going to make this PS1 style crate in Blender. The cool thing about this is, is that we add a normal map to it. See there, so it reacts with the light in your game, in your whatever scene, however you want to use it. And it is low poly. All right, let's get into it. These are the things you'll need, our ingredient lists. Links to all the software and images are going to be in the description. Make sure you like and subscribe while you're down there because that helps me and the channel grow. So number one, you're going to need Blender. This is a Blender tutorial. Google it. Find it. It's going to be in the description. Two, color quantizer. This is a um, weird piece of software that I found recently. It allows you to put that dither kind of PS1 texture onto images and is, is really nice. Three is lighter. Lighter was funded by Epic. Um, you can make normal maps with it. And that's how we're going to make our normal maps Four, you're going to need a crate image. So I'm going to link you to a few websites where you can find crate images. Okay. So while you do all this, pause the video and then come back. So the first step is to open color quantizer and drag your crate image into the program. You can just drag and drop from your desktop. I'm going to resize this image to give it that pixelated PS one look. So I'm going to go to the top, press image resize. I'm going to note that the width is 347 because I'm going to re-enter that. I'm going to go to the percentage over here, turn it to 33% and make sure the resampling method is nearest. Remember, we have to remember our width. Remember, remember. Now I'm going to go back to image resize, place in my old width, press OK, and we have a pixelated crate. The next step is to add a dither effect to our crate to make it look even more ps one esque so we're going to go to the right hand side where there's a image of a color palette icon. When you hover over it, it'll say quantizer settings, click that. And we have a quantizer settings box open. And this is where we can add all of our different effects. So on the right hand side, you see it says dithering and you can choose from di different dithering methods. You can also limit the color palette. So if we go to Windows 16, we can see it limits the color palette to 16 colors on the right hand side. What I did was download a custom.pal file and I'll link in the description to a website called low spec where you can download many different color palettes. And I chose this color palette right here. Now what you can do is play around with the amount of dither, see what you like. Just get a feel for it. You know, you never know what'll happen. So I think this is pretty good. Now I'm gonna save this and export it. The next step is to drag the exported image from Color Quantizer into Lighter. Lighter is the program where we're going to make our normal map. Now this program can be a little weird if you're uh, brand new to it, but if you just follow me, you'll be okay. So on the top right hand side, you'll see it says mode and texture. Make sure this pixelated box is selected and you can see that it makes it clearer when you press pixelated. The next step is to go to preview. And when you go to preview, you'll get some settings where you can move a light around and you can see the normal map affecting the crate. And this is exactly what we want. Now, if you want to adjust these settings, you can go and mess with the bump and the enhance sections on the left hand side. For example, if we ha I, I recommend placing distance at zero because if you don't it does this weird stuff right here and you really don't want that so just put that at zero you can put this don't you don't have to worry about this the di uh, the height or the softness here in the enhance we can 
change the look of the normal map, the way that light affects it. We can also make it softer and more detailed. So that's, that's about good. And if we move the light around, you'll see it affects the normal map. Next, we're going to export our image out of Lighter, or we're gonna export the normal map out of Lighter. The way we do this is go to the top left-hand side of Lighter, go to export. When you hover your mouse over, it's gonna say export. Click that, it's gonna open a box. The box is gonna have a few settings. Don't worry about the specular, the parallax, the occlusion, the diffuse preview, any of that. Just make sure that the normal is selected because we're just gonna export our normal map and it's gonna be appended by underscore n. For example, the name of this file is the YouTube underscore crate, but when I export, it's gonna say YouTube underscore crate underscore n for normal map. You can then choose target directory and choose where you're going to export the image and it'll be, it won't look like the crate is going to be a weird looking kind of purplish bluish looking image. Don't worry about that. If it, it, that is exactly what we want. So export that. And then we're going to go into blender. The next step is to open up blender and create a cube or use the default cube. The next thing we're gonna do is add a material and add our texture to that material so we can see it on the cube. The first step in doing this is adding a material. So you go to new, let's just call this crate. You get here by going to the circle, red circle, looks like a red checker circle on the right hand side. And that is the material properties. Once we have our material, we're gonna to go to base color select image under texture, image texture. And then we're going to open our texture. So this is our YouTube underscore create dot PNG open that. And you can see it is on the cube correctly. However, sometimes you when you add a material, it'll look like this, you just go to the top right hand corner um and press this it's the it's a different viewport shading it's the material preview um go to uv editing now for some of you it might have imported incorrectly well not imported incorrectly it might have the uvs might be all jambled up so what you want to do is go to the uv editing tab go to uv and then go to q projection and it should just fix that so UV, Q projection, and it should fix the UVs. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is go to shading, and we are going to add a normal map to this. So right now we already have our texture. And one quick thing is that right here it says linear. Change that to closest. You'll see a slight. You'll see it becomes a little bit sharper. The next thing, the, the texture will come a little, uh, become a little bit sharper. The next thing you wanna do is press Shift N, well, Shift A, excuse me, Shift A, and we're gonna search for the image texture node. Select that. Now we're going to open our normal map. So let's go to, let's see, where is it? right here, YouTube underscore crate underscore in dot PNG. Open that image. We're gonna set this to let's see, non color. So set the color space to non color. And then from this yellow color extender thingy, <laughs> you're going to look for the normal map. So normal map color right there. Then we're gonna connect this normal node into the normal on our material. 
and you should see a change in how the material is reacting. So if we disconnect it, you see it looks like that. If we connect it, it looks like this. So now if we come into layout and we move our light around, let's get our light for a second. You can see, let's move this correctly. You can see our light interacts and I'm gonna turn the light down to let's say 500, well, even lower, 100. And then if we move the light, you can see the light is interacting with the normal map. And there we have it. You have your PS1 crate. Now, if you have any other questions, please leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out. And, and think about um, what other tutorials you guys might want to see. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a great day.